Easy guys, it's Monk here. Uh, just a really quick one today. I'm going to talk about exporting stems. So, ex stems, when you export them, um, st so I'll start from the beginning basically, but like stems are all the individual channels in your track, like every sound. Like here you can see I have 28, if you look down there, I have 28 stems in this in total as you go through all the different sounds so so like hats kick perk layer there snare layer snare delays tiny hat shaker sample chops you get you get what i'm saying those are stems so why you would want to export them a couple of main reasons if you were working on a collaboration project like i have been here this is a collaboration between me and a producer called ego def who's based over in uh, colorado in the states check him out uh makes sick dubstep and he runs like this channel called elemental arts uh two main reasons why you'd want to export stems one for a collaboration project like this so i uh this was actually a project that he started and then sent me the stems for so and i, f I finished it off which is what you can see here but you send if you're going to collaborate with someone and you're not like in the same room together an easy way to do that is by sending stems uh so if i send him like even here on this occasion like he was happy with it so we just decided to wrap it up so i didn't have to stem him back but if i wanted to it's essentially so i could send him all of the different layers of the track um for him for him to then import into his own program software like daw and um work on himself so the other reason is like here with a finished track if you wanted someone to remix it uh remixes are great for extra promotion on a release like if you're releasing a single if you can get someone to do a remix especially someone with more um more of a following than you then that can do wonders for your single because if their remix blows up you know people will then come and check out your original um so there's just a couple of reasons why you might want the stems for a track in the first place uh so now i'm going to show you how how we get them so it's pretty simple up here next to logic pro x says file and we come down to export and we go all tracks as audio files you then be greeted with this uh, if i go to my desktop and the first thing i'm going to do is because we're going to be exporting 28 different audio files is going to come out on this occasion i'm going to make sure that i'm making a new folder and i'm going to call that folder stems Right, we're now in our stems folder. So, first thing here, it says range, trim, silence at file end. Uh, what you want to change that to is export cycle range only. When you're doing this, you need to make sure that this yellow bar you can see across the top of the project, that is marking the beginning and the ending of your track. Everything in this yellow bar, when you've got export cycle range only, that is what it's going to export because that is... a uh, that's the cycle range so make sure you've got that make sure an export cycle range only um, save format wave is best because you're still going to be like working on it so you want the highest quality possible 16-bit depth is absolutely fine uh, don't you don't want to bypass effect plugins because presumably you want the processing and the work that you've done on the stems to to be there when whoever you're whoever's opening up the stems opens them up include volume port and pan automation if you have been automating your volume and pan make sure you've got that ticked because you'll want um again that's work that you've done on the track that you want to still be there when whoever is opening it opens it so the next bit is uh the normalized section at the moment it's on overlaid protection only uh this just means that if any of my tracks are clipping i.e they're going above zero db it's just going to turn the volume down on them so that they're not going above if you have normalize on what it's going to do is everything that it's going to bring everything to zero db so the true peak value of all of your stems is going to then be hitting zero which this is useful if you feel like like I don't know like some people prefer it some people sometimes it's nice to have everything hitting zero so then they can mix it down themselves um but by the same token the mix is work that you've done so if they're opening it up and it's all mixed um as you've mixed it then you'll want to make sure that you've got normalize off which 
means it's going to be to the truest uh um how do i say it it's going to be the closest to what you sent it as when they open if they just import all the stems and press play it should be mixed as you mixed it if you've got that off um so and then you just click export and all the files will appear in the stems folder that you've created another quick one that i want to say is that won't actually export your send effects if you've got effects on sends like over here i've got three different instances of reverb i've got a standard one and then two spring emulations it's not going to uh, export them so what you can do to make sure you can export them so they get the reverb channel um, right click on it in in the mixer and go create track and if i do that to all of them and then come off the mixer where's it oh yeah up there up the top here i'm gonna move them to the bottom so get out of the way oh come on yeah so now even though you like it doesn't look like there's any information there actually it is i'll play like through so that's all my um yeah re reverbs and stuff then coming through on that channel and now they will be treated as stems so then if you go export all tracks as audio files we're now going to be exporting 31 files because we're going to be exporting the tracks that the reverbs on are on as well so yeah hopefully that's helpful if you didn't know that already apologies if you did it's fairly basic stuff so um yeah no worries if you if you did already know it but it's for the people that didn't and uh subscribe drop a like or whatever all of those all of those things if you found it helpful as usual drop a comment if i didn't mention anything that you thought i should have mentioned um and hopefully see you in the next one big up